Now another hidden key in the Hebrew here that, uh, for breakthrough, the word sore also means to rebel. Now wait a minute, rebellion is wrong. Not always. I, rebellion is often wrong, but not always. When I was a little child, I rebelled. I'm not proud of it, but my father would say, well, you, know, he, you know, he'd say something and I'd say, why? You know, and then he would have the last word and then I would have the last word. And I'm like this big, you know. But, but, I, but I, I did rebel, and, and we rebel if we think, I mean, most of us, not everybody, but we can think of a lot of things we rebelled against in our, in our former life. But the Bible says here, rebel against evil. Rebel. Anywhere where sin reigns, rebellion is a virtue, meaning rebelling against sin. Rebelling against evil. I'm not talking about people, but rebelling against what is evil. Now, we live in a culture that is more and more dark. We, we want to be the greatest, the best citizens until it crosses the line where it says, you follow us or God. We say that's not a choice at all. We're following God. Forget you. But, but the point is that even in, in our lives, there's a, there's, a, there's a holy rebellion and say, you know what? I am not going to give in to this anymore. I'm not going to submit to the enemy anymore. Why am I obeying him? When I should be rebelling against that, saying, I don't need that. I'm not listening to you. I follow God. In the story of Jonah, God called Jonah the first time, and it says, Jonah arose and fled. Okay? And he got, you know what happened after that. A lot of problems. And then, finally, after all the problems, it says, and God called Jonah again. And he said, go now. And it says, Jonah arose and went. So it uses, it uses the same wording, the same phrasing, and yet it says the opposite thing. In other words, the first time Jonah rose and fled, sinned. Second time he arose and went, obey. And here's the principle. Here's the key. In the same way you once sinned, now serve God. Let me explain what I mean. Let me explain it first. Many of us were rebels. Well, Daniel had to rebel against the, the idolatry. Against, rebel against the enemy, number one. You rebelled for the wrong reason. Now rebel for the right reason. Rebel against the old. You don't have to follow. The Bible says there's something called the law of sin and death. Well, you don't have to follow that law. You're to break that law. You're to break the law of sin and death in your life. So just as you used to rebel, many of you, against what was authority and maybe good, now rebel against what is bad. Now, 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 how did we rebel if we, were, if, we were, if we were doing that in our old life? A lot of us, we, we ignored what they told us. Well, start ignoring the devil. Start ignoring temptation. And we all, we disobeyed, you know, we, we, for the wrong reason. Well, there is that holy. Sometimes we didn't show up where we were supposed to show up. Maybe do a class. Well, don't show up where the enemy is calling you. You know, don't engage. Don't show up. You don't have to follow him when he says something. We didn't respect authority, many of us. Well, you are not to re you respect the authority of God and his authorities, but do not respect the authority of the enemy. And the way we used to serve the enemy, you know, the way we sinned, you know, most of us, were, or again, you all have different, we all have different paths, but we, we went into sin with zeal and passion, you know. We didn't, we didn't, sin, we didn't do it halfway. When you sinned, when you were, you know, the old way, you didn't say, oh, I have to sin today. What a drag, but I'm going to do it because it's my duty to sin. You didn't force yourself to sin. You did it with your heart. So now when you serve God, don't serve him halfway. Oh, I have to worship today. I have to pray today. I have to put in my time. No, you didn't sin like that. You gave the devil more honor than you give God with that. Give God the honor. Do it with all your heart. When you sin, you didn't have to force yourself to do it. Get into the joy of God and the joy wholehearted with God. And God will bless you. Nobody had to make you sin, and nobody should have to make you, force you to serve God because this is what you're going to do with your whole heart. And by the same token, sometimes people fall into sin because they fall away from God or they fall away from what's right. But now reverse it. You, God wants us to be falling away from sin. He wants us to lose interest in it. He wants you to lose it. He wants you to be, you know, I just don't feel it anymore. I don't want, it has, I don't want any part of this.